Hello and welcome to United Promotions tutorial on how to use the ROSE program. In this video we're going to teach you the basic setup and basic controls for ROSE and then in later videos we'll teach you how to do the more advanced things like setting up packages and so forth. The first thing with ROSE is we need to make sure that you have Java installed on your computer. If you're not sure you can go to their website which is www.java.com underneath the free download you have do I have Java you can click there and on this page you would check the verification page which will then check your computer make sure that you have the, the, the proper version if you don't then it will cue you to go ahead and download the proper version or the newest version this one has a congratulations you can see version 7 update 60 at this point in time that is the latest version so we're ready as far as that goes after that you would go to our website which is www.upilab.com once there you would look across the top the first heading says software if you hover on it you'll see rows you press lab link and other since we're using rows that's where we'd want to go today and we have two versions or two clients of ROSE. One is UPI Lab ROSE, which covers our schools, our weddings, general portraiture, uh, volume packages, things like that. The other being UPI Sports, which obviously just covers sports. So we're going to download the normal one or the regular ROSE today. Click here. It's going to ask what you want to start with. You want to open it with Java Web Start or Java WS if it asks. And click OK. If it asks you, then yes, you want to run the application. It's going to read the catalog, download the catalog, creates products, and then it sets up. The ROSE program should put an icon on your desktop when it's finished. If it, if it doesn't do that, then you can always call us and we can, uh, we can guide you on how to get that on your computer. So when the program begins, it goes to the home page. You can see it says home here. This shows some of the catalog items. But the first thing you want to do is go to the right side of the program over here under my information you want to enter your customer number and then click login if you don't know your customer number you can always call the lab and ask we can look it up for you if you're not sure what it is if you don't have a customer number you will need to call our accounting department and set up an account with us and get a customer number before you can actually place an order through the lab after you're logged in you would go to preferences and the big item on pre under preferences is you want to make sure that search in closed folders is not checked. The rest of these are all depending on how you want to do or how you want your, your, your screen to show. You can have it start on the start ordering page which bypasses the catalog out here. Show prices is completely up to you. If you don't want to show the prices you can uncheck this. Of course that requires a relaunch of rows but once once you uncheck it and relaunch rows you won't see a price for what you're ordering. So if you have a customer looking over your shoulder you can certainly do that ahead of time. Auto rotate counterclockwise and auto rotate print size not image. Those are things you'll have to decide for yourself seeing as how your images come in differently. Um, you may not need either one of these. You may need one or the other, depending again on, on how your camera is rotating the images or how you're rotating them in your editing process before you put them into rows. Once we have this stuff checked, then we will go to our start ordering pane. Generally, the first time you open rows, your options palette is going to be on the left hand side here which makes it very crowded because we've got a lot of products so usually what we tell folks to do is click here on this arrow it's going to move your options 
over to the right hand side of the screen giving you more room here to see the products that are available under the sizes palette. Rose has different catalogs volume package prints being the largest one or actually being the most popular one I should say volume package prints basically is for daycares, schools, things like that where you're ordering quantities of packages from quantities of images there are also other catalogs contained within it wedding seniors, candid studio orders that would be anything that's not a volume package order we also have proofs and proof booklets. That's pretty self-explanatory. That's where you would go if you're doing proofs. We have metallic proofs. The only difference there is it's metallic paper. We have Same Day Rose, which is a limited catalog. Not all the products that we have are listed in Same Day Rose. Um, so if you're going to offer a Same Day Rose service, you want to make sure you open that previously and, uh, and check and make sure that the products you need are actually in there. Green screen rows, again, self-explanatory. That's where you're going to find your green screen products. And then finally, Economy Express, which is a, an inexpensive service, but it does not have the full features of the lab. Items are not color corrected, and they're not individually packaged. So again, if you're going to offer that service, you want to make sure that you understand you're going to get bulk packing, and your prints will not be individually packed, or, and uh, they will not be individually color corrected. So again, Rose is basically a drag and drop program. We open a product by clicking on it here. It opens in the center. From there, we would take an image, drag it in, and it populates the product. Fairly simple. Then we have our controls. If I needed to adjust the image, you notice that when I put the cursor in the center, it turns into a hand. If I left click, it turns into a fist. Essentially, it's grabbing the image. So I can move the image up and down. If there was room, I could move it side to side. On this image, there's not in this particular product. If I chose a different proportion, I'd be able to move it side to side. If I want to crop the image, if I click near the bottom of the item, I'll get this drop down box which has a slider bar that allows me to zoom in now I can move the image side to side because I've cropped way in on it or I can slide it back out I can also rotate the image within the layout or if I want to I can skew the image to straighten it if I happen to have made a mistake and shot it so she's tilted I can tilt her back this way the other option I have is if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse you can zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel Now once I have my cropping done, I may want to add options. The options palette is on this side of the program now. And we do have options available for most products. However, not all options are available for all products. So here we have a cameo is our first one. Cameo is essentially just a vignette. So we have a light cameo or light vignette and a dark cameo or a dark vignette. You can see that the corner is getting darker or lighter. You don't have to use any of these but you're welcome to use them if you'd like. Next we have image tone. Color obviously being the default but you can also order black and white or sepia tint or sepia tone. Sepia tone is not completely able to be displayed under rows but a sepia tint print essentially is sepia tone but it allows some of the color in an item to come through or an image to come through it's a better effect with uh, with images that have rich colors in them as, as you'll get a little, little bit more color coming through whereas sepia tone is all sepia none of the color shows through it's all sepia 
Again, you don't have to use any of these, but you're certainly welcome to use them as you, as you like. We have masking for the edges. Again, you don't have to use any of these. If you find some that you like, you're certainly welcome to use them. Play around with it if you like. There are quite a few of them there. Next we have golden foil stamp golden silver foil stamping. You would click on the one you use. The first one is one line, first name only. So if that's what I wanted to do, I could click here and then go to my enter my enter my stamp here. Type in the name and I'm done. Then we have our mounting options for the 8x10. Again, all these mounting options available. And once more, not all of these options are available for all products. If you don't see something that you'd like, you can always call us and, and double check to make sure that, it's, that it is offered. But generally, if you don't see it under the options here, it's something that can't be done possibly to that print size or possibly to whatever product it is you've chosen. And then last you have the 8x10 additional options. This is where you would get lamination, print spray, print texturing. Again, completely up to you. None of it is, is required, but you're certainly welcome to use it. So once we choose all of our options, we have the, the item cropped the way we'd like it to be cropped. Then the next place we would go is down here to add to order. You see a big blue plus sign, add to order. If you click here tells you it's been added so now you know that you've actually you've actually ordered that photo until you click this button you have ordered nothing if you want to check and make sure that the item is correct and we do suggest that you do that every three or four images you go to your cart shows you the image number that you've chosen shows you what options that you've chosen go foil stamping shows the name and so forth Joan gives you a price gives you how many you've ordered And again, you want to check this every three or four images to make sure that you've actually ordered the images that you need and you've ordered the items that you need from those images. Once we've checked to make sure that it's correct, we can go back to continue shopping. and then we would choose our next product and our next image when the program first opens you notice that down at the bottom you'll have click image or click add image folder to browse through your images when you click this it's going to open a window and this is the window that you need to browse and find your image folder. I'm just going to pick this job here and open. And my images show up on the bottom now. Once you open an order in rows and you begin to build, you cannot move or rename any of these images. The rows program builds a path to the images, and when you open it, it looks for that path. If so if you break the path by either moving the location of the images or changing the name of the images, rows can no longer find those images, and it will consider the order that you've started a corrupt order so you don't want to do that generally once that happens it turns into a nightmare and you'll probably end up having to rebuild your order so if you just spent two or three hours working on order you're going to be really upset 
you want to make sure that your images also are stored on the hard drive of your computer or if you're going to put them on a portable hard drive or removable hard drive you want to make sure that that hard drive is plugged in and turned on before you open the ROSE program. Alright, well that concludes this portion of the video. We will have more videos going into more of the advanced te techniques such as building packages, using some of the, the more complex products, how to send your order and so forth. I hope this tutorial was helpful and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you very much.